the 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 the, the, the divide the divide of women to the the few men and the few men there are like really out there. Yes, they they are prepared to do this for a living. That sort of deal. It's a lot of dedication from both sides, honestly. But a lot more people, or a lot more women, I would say, are more willing to be like vulnerable in that way. No, I feel you. I, I feel like, and there's a longer there's a longer conversation to be had here. But I feel like guys in you know they've been taught by their parents by this older generation that you have to hide those feelings, you have to put up those walls in order to be tough, in order to be a man. But honestly, being a man is being able to break down those walls and being able to show your vulnerability because that's that is that is showing you don't care about what society tells you to do and that's that's the show of of, of true what's the word i'm looking for what's the word i'm looking for uh true masculinity true maybe? masculinity let me hit you with this so i agree but let's transition now a true show of vulnerability a boy and a girl a, a, a tiny once, boy once competitors and hard times now here together hand in hand for better or for worse, with that recovery, my god, that thing needs fixing, <laughs> against D.A. Venya. I'm going to leave this to you, Newt. Not I'll absolutely. be back, ladies and gentlemen. Not a uh, not a matchup I'm used to seeing very often, but I'll, I'll uh, try my best. Are we going to talk about Apollo reading the jump up and dunking Venya down, losing his first stock? He's going to take out Nana there, so now we're going to have a single Sopo. 128.9%, not crazy here, but that down tilt two frame. We'll be able to pop him up for the forward air. Only 9.7% of extra credit here. Benny here, trying to keep him at bay. Ice Climbers um, don't possess a ton of keep away power. They obviously have the ice. They have the uh, side B there, the uh, Tornado. I forget what it's called, but uh, Benny here, obviously, much like Rosalina and Luma, is going to be try to, s to separate the two Ice Climbers. But honestly, he just seems to be going for the single Popo, and it seems to be working. Apollo not really uh, caught pressing of buttons. Uh, caught pressing buttons, yeah. rather. Something um, that you want to do in this matchup is you always want to try and hit one and not the other. It doesn't really matter which one because once you have their knockbacks at, like, separate ranges, any hit on both of them will send them separately. Absolutely, absolutely. And we see that right now, but oh, getting saved by the Popo there, Nana. And now, no, not killing the Nana yet, quite yet. Let's see what the recovery looks like. We're going to see a side beat. No, the upbeat. That range was a lot farther than I thought it would. Up tilt, sending Vinny up again. Up air, not going to take it quite yet. Good recovery de right there with the down air to the ledge. Back to center stage, pretty much even percentages, but he catches them with the F smash right there. Good separation and good presence of mind to know that he would be right there. Forward smash, 114. Okay, Apollo adamant on getting the stock right now. Now we see him trying to separate the Sopo again. Up smash, up smash with the Nana would have killed there. But 132, the single Sopo not able to get it done. Down tilt, sending Benny off stage again. Brilliant recovery. Going below the ledge right there. That is a brave thing to do. Looking for a bag here is Paulo, just trying to catch Benny uh, jumping again. Like he kind of like what he got the first stock from, but not working thus far. Benny is staying pretty much grounded, relying on these little short hop forward airs, wrecking up a lot of damage. Another one, 69%, and he's going to be able to get the back air off stage. 78%, uh, one more, we'll be able to do it here. Nana is dead. Now the single cell po Oh, the SD works out all right at the end. Uh, he tried to use the um, tried to use the water to keep Popo off stage, but it ended up working out. The side B from the Popo not quite enough to get back to the ledge. So Vinny gonna take the 1-0 lead here. Uh, I like uh, also one thing I like about Zeno is the uh, the little stage band little tablet here. That's a very you you don't know how many times I'm like, oh, they're probably gonna go to FD, and the other commentators like, wait, they probably banned FD. And it's something I always forget about. Mm -hmm. But now we're gonna see exactly what we banned and exactly what we're gonna go to, and I can tell you, we're gonna go to Smashville right here. Yep, getting rid of uh, Yoshi's story and Lila. I hate Lila. Okay. I hate Lila. <laughs> just just a personal anecdote right there. Hey, thirty percent on that forwarder. That is meaty. And once again, getting Nana and Popo off stage. Vinny going very, very deep for those edge guards. Able to make it back to the stage, though. Apollo taking the early deficit here. Beautiful parry from. Is that both of them, though? Okay, good parry. Vinny is starting to catch on to what Apollo is doing right here. Oh, good use of the side view recovery there. Missed opportunity for Apollo there, but let's see what this edge presence is like. No back to center stage. Another down tilt, trying to catch Venia off guard here. 
He does fly the ledge here, up tilt, able to knock him up, opting to go for the back air instead of the two up airs. Okay, Benyon really needs to get off of here. If he was off stage, that definitely would have dunked. Again, another one of those little short hop forwarders. They, Benia has been getting so much mileage off of those. Apollo really hasn't had an answer, but that up smash will be able to take that first stock. Even game, 0-0, zero, zero, second stock. Let's see what the neutral looks like here. Again, use of the short hop forward air at early percents. He's able to string that together into a dash tech, 49%. But here comes Apollo. Dude, it does off stage here. Again, catches him with the short hop forward air. Will he be able to get the edge guard here? He will! Popo not able to make it back to the stage, and now Apollo on his winner's bracket stock here. Venia has been doing a wonderful job thus far of separating Nana and Popo in the right situations, utilizing these little short hop forwarders to be able to separate them and just strain together these little combos. It's not a ton, but it's working out in his favor. Oh, unfortunate there on the jab. He only hit Nana. Pop uh, Popo able to punish with an F smash there. Benia playing a lot with the Smashville platform, able to string together a couple of up airs. Apollo at the deficit, he kind of has to find a different way to perhaps get in. Maybe stop relying on this ice, but it seems to be working there! Oh my goodness! What a beautiful use of the ice into the up smash there. Uh, ice into up tilt into up smash. That's sort of the thing we see, need to see more from Apollo, but Venia has not allowed Apollo to really get in to utilize those opportunities. Here we go, separating Nana and Popo again, using the forward air. Let's see what he does off the ledge here. And Popo, let's see what he does. He tries to use the water to separate them, get them off stage. Whoa, Venia. Venia going for the gusto there. Lucha Lair, got Nana off stage. Nana's probably dead, yes she is. It's gonna be up to Popo. And he's gonna continue to do it here. Beautiful job by Venia. He was trying to get that, that whole set, just trying to use the water to slowly push Popo off. We saw him do that the first game where he killed himself, but it ended up working out okay. And that time he successfully utilizes that up to just a little boop, 